guys welcome to code with mac so today we are going to solve a problem it's a basic problem and a very very well known problem okay so weighted job scheduling so in weighted job scheduling okay so in weighted job scheduling what we are given that we are given with a, a number of jobs and we need to complete it okay we need to complete it in certain amount of time okay uh, and uh, each job has a particular amount of profit okay like we are given uh, like we are given a job from start to end time okay from starting to end time and we need to complete that uh, job in th in these time uh, limit and uh, we are given the profit like x okay like in the profit x okay so so we are given number of jobs so uh like starting time we are given starting time and uh, starting time and ending time of that uh, okay starting time and ending time of that job and the profit okay the profit so now uh, there are numerous jobs okay like it can start from here to here okay it can start from here to here it can start from here to here okay uh, uh, all depends upon starting time and ending time okay so it's it's given in the form of three arrays okay is given in the form of three arrays first array is of a starting time array starting time and uh, the second is uh, ending time ending time okay and the third is profit profit let there be n number of uh, jobs n number of jobs okay n jobs so every array of a starting time ending time and profit will be of size n Okay, n, n, and n. So now, what we need to do, we need to find out. Uh, we need to find out the maximum profit we can get by solving these jobs. Okay, we are not, we are not given, we are, not, we need not to find the maximum number of jobs. We need to find the jobs which gives us maximum profit. Okay, so the emphasis, the emphasis is on profit. Okay. So this question can be solved using uh, dynamic programming and also sorting algorithm. It's a sort. Also, this can be solved using sorting algorithm. So we will be using both and also lower bound. Let me first tell you my approach. Uh, let us solve using uh, example. Okay. So now, firstly, we need to sort it. Okay, as I, I have already given you sorted array like like uh you can see that here uh, it is sorted according to the starting time and then ending time like 2 5 11 13 13 okay here both are 13 13 so i have sorted it according to uh ending time okay we have compared ending time here okay 22 and 35 and 16 it 28 31 36 40 43 47 okay so now what we can do is that like first we will iterate through the last okay we will iterate through uh, the last element so now at the end we are given uh, at the end okay from 47 to 48 from 47 to 48 we can earn only 11 profit okay let's call it rupees 11 okay 11 rupees so we can earn only 11 rupees okay by working from 47 to 48 so now uh now we can work from now now we, we are having okay we will do we will do this work 47 to 48 okay so now we are having 11 rupees with us okay so let's uh store the num store the answer in uh, the variable ans okay answer is equals to 11 so we can we can have 11 rupees yet okay so now let's go to the Mm, go to this this one okay this job so this job is from 43 to 44 okay yeah we can do this and this both okay because this is ending from 44 and this is ending is this is starting from 47 so yes we can uh, we can work from 43 to 48 okay between these time limits okay so 11 plus 8 okay we, we can now have the profit of 19 okay we can have the profit of 19 so now here uh, i am storing I will create another array okay i will create another array like uh, another array or uh, yeah i'm creating another array okay so let's 
store it here okay so we are having we were having 11 as our answer when we were here and now we, we are having 19 as our answer so 19 here and then 19 here and then uh, now can we complete the works 40 to can we can we do the work 40 and uh, which starts from 40 to 47 and can we do all the, these three works no we can either do these two or we can either do these two okay we can either do these two okay or okay wait we can either do this one uh, and this one or we can either do this one and this one so let us now see that which work will give us maximum profit so now uh, as you can see that for uh, this work starts from 40 and ends at 48 so we let's combine the profit we will uh, we will be getting by doing these two works okay so our, our profit will be 27 okay so here i i am storing 27 okay so 27 and uh, here 19 so which will which is maximum so what is the maximum profit we can get okay yeah we can maximum get we can get the profit maximum by solving this prob uh, this and this job okay so here 27 so i am storing it here 27 and my answer yet is 27 okay so now can we do the work can we complete the work 36 41 uh, and these two okay and these two since we can uh, we can do these two works for maximum profit okay so now uh, 41 and 36 and 41 so what is the work which starts from uh, which starts at 41 or after 41 so this work okay so up till here we were having 19 up till here we were having 19 as our profit so now 30 uh, let's combine these let's combine these two okay so let's combine these two so we were having the we are now having the profit of 19 plus 3 uh, 22 okay so what is the maximum profit we can get 27 or 23 uh, 22 so okay, obviously 22 so obviously 27 so here it is so we have written 27 here okay so now 31 and 41 31 and 41 so same uh, nine so here so 19 lower bound of 41 in this here okay lower bound of 41 uh, mm -hmm. here is 43 okay so we are uh, we are adding 19 plus 19 is 38 38 okay so 38 is maximum or 27 is maximum obviously 38 is maximum so 38 so now what uh, uh, what are the jobs we are doing this one this one and this one these three jobs we are doing okay this one this one and this one which 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 is giving us profit of 38 okay now 20 the uh, now we are having a job which starts from 28 to 48 uh, for, and ends at 48 so lower bound of 48 is uh, nothing okay so we can have we can only earn two rupees by doing this job so what is the maximum of uh, 38 and uh, 2 obviously 38 so here here it is 38 so now uh, by solving this job which starts from 16 to 26 so what is the lower bound of 26 uh, here what is the lower bound of 26 in starting time array so obviously 28 so let's add 15 uh, and 38 okay so yeah i have i have interpreted the answer here okay so 15 plus 38 is uh, 53 yeah 53 so here it is my answer 53 is here okay hmm so which which uh, what are the jobs we are doing so this one and uh, this one this one this one and these two okay so we are doing these these four jobs okay but but i'm updating all the answers okay right like here we got the maximum 11 then we got this 19 then we got 27 27 38 38 so we are updating uh in increasing order okay we are updating the maximum okay so now 53 here it is so our answer here is 53 yet okay so now 13 35 okay lower one of 35 here is 36 so 27 plus 27 plus 13 so 40 so no uh 40 is less than 53 so obviously here here answer uh, up, up till here our answer will be 53 okay so which means i can earn 53 rupees um, among by solving uh any jobs okay any compatible job between these uh these jobs okay these given jobs now we are coming here and uh, now let's uh, search lower bound of 22 in starting time array lower bound of 22 is uh, 28 so 38 plus 20 
okay so 38 plus 20 obviously it is 58 so 58 what is greater 58 or 53 obviously it is 58 okay so i here i have updated 58 and our answer is here is 58 now okay so 11 and 39 lower bound of 39 is uh, 40 so 1 plus 16 is equals to lower 1 plus 16 is uh, uh sorry 1 plus 27 is 1 plus 27 is 28 so maximum is 58 okay so 5 plus 13 so lower bound of 13 is this one okay lower bound of 13 is this one and uh, lower bound of 13 is 13 and here uh 58 is our answer and 58 so 58 plus 8 is equals to 66 okay so i have i have here i have updated the answer and answer is now 66 okay now lower bound of 21 okay lower bound of 21 is 28 okay 28 so 28 and uh, uh 48 okay 20, so 28 and 38 okay sorry so 1 plus 38 is 39 so what is the maximum of 39 and 66 okay what is the max, uh, maximum of 39 and uh, 39 and 66 so obviously it is 66 so answer is 66 here okay thus uh, using this algorithm we are finding our answer okay so let's move to the coding part okay i hope you understood from this example okay now let's move to the coding part so now so now i am creating a map of a uh, map of pair and int comma int comma int en okay so in this map i am uh, i am binding starting time ending time with uh, the profit okay so again map int comma int st where i am i am uh, uh, binding starting time with ending time okay so now what i am doing it answer for uh, our final value int n is equals to start time okay int n is equals to start time dot size okay uh, size of the array int sorry, vector of pair of pair int comma int and uh, comma int comma int and uh, vector of pair int comma int comma int okay so this is the this is story uh, starting at any time and profit okay in the, in the vector b okay so now for i'm taking through the uh, through these three arrays okay this through these three arrays so we dot push back we push back make pair make pair uh, make pair start time i comma and time i mm, comma profit of i and en of the start time of i uh, comma and time of i is equals to profit of i okay so now uh, if if t dot count start start time of i is not equal to zero means if uh, st is not already present then okay now uh if map already contains uh, like there are two time limits okay so which starts from 13 comma 13 and ends which like there are two time limits first start from 13 and ends to 22 and the second starts from 13 and ends uh, at 35 so what should be i what should be i give preference to the one which the one job which uh, completes earlier okay so that's uh, that's the mm, that's the logic i i am doing here okay if sd dot count start time is not is equal to zero means is already present then what i need to do is st of st of start time i is equals to minimum of st of st of start time i okay comma and time i right now else else st of start time of i is equals to and time of i okay so now here i'm sorting we dot we dot begin comma we dot end 
और एंड आई इक्वल टू 0 आई शुड बी लेस देन एंड आई प्लस प्लस ओके 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 सो आई मीन आई आई विल गिव अ रेट विद फ्रॉम एन माइनस 1 टू और एंड आई इक्वल टू एन माइनस 1 आई शुड बी ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू 0 आई माइनस माइनस एंड ऑटो ऑटो आई टी इज इक्वल टू एस डॉट लोअर बाउंड अदर रोबोट बी आई डॉट फर्स्ट ओके एंड इज इक्वल टू बी डॉट फर्स्ट डॉट सेकंड ओके सो आई नीड टू फाइंड द लोअर बाउंड ऑफ This one in the starter. This is the starting uh, array. Okay, the starting time, array of the starting time. Okay. So now, uh, if if i t is not is equal to s dot n, okay, if uh, it's, it's it is having uh, an, a job which starts from, which is having a job starts after the current job uh, end, end, ends. So what I need to do is, uh, what I need to do is, n v of i dot first is equal to max of, um, equal to max of n v of i, n v of i dot first. Okay. Yeah. Comma v of i. Uh, v of i. And uh, dot second, dot second. Okay, the profit yeah. plus n of uh, it first comma it mm, second. Okay, comma answer. Okay, let me. Hmm, comma answer. So now, uh, n. B of i dot first is equal to max of n b of i dot first uh, comma comma b of i dot second comma answer answer and uh, answer is equal to max of answer comma e n b of i dot first okay then return answer and now let me check max of here and then and then is equal to answer Now let's submit in the code. Okay, so here it gives the right answer, and uh, but I don't know why its time complexity is less. But uh, uh, as I have told you that uh, uh, this solution is of O n log n complexity. Okay. Yeah. So this uh, solution is of O n log n com complexity. Okay, so thank you guys. If you like the video, please subscribe to our channel and uh, comment if you are having any doubt. I will be there. Okay, thank you.